and Sammy again and this is a this upcoming week's decoration video I hope you guys enjoy it uh, it'll also be a small or I should say a short review of the paper tape from the Dollar Tree uh, a lot of a lot of ladies have been on the hunt for these because not all Dollar Trees have these in stock um, I was lucky enough to find these at the Dollar Tree that was right by Kev's house. My local Dollar Tree by my house didn't have them at all. So all the good things, for some reason, I keep finding them near Kev. So, I mean, that gives me excuses to go to him. So <laughs> I don't mind that. Um, I know that the Dollar Trees that do have them, for some reason, they're not all located in the same spot in the Dollar Tree. I found these near the stationery aisle. I've heard some ladies say that they were near the party supply aisle. So try to get a picture of it of these and then ask some employees there maybe they can help you but um it'll also be like a review of these as well so i'm just gonna hop right into it and let you guys know right off the bat that these paper tapes are very similar to the joanne uh studio g paper tapes that i have used before in my kiki k planner they look like this um they're called paper tape and then even on, sorry, I've already opened this up. Even on the packaging, it says that it's easy to tear right in this corner here. But the thing is, these are very plasticky. They have a plastic feel to them. I don't feel like you could easily tear them like normal washi tapes. Um, you guys will notice like the sound of it when I start using this one. It's very plastic. Like it, it does not feel like washi tape at all. So that's one thing that I really don't like about these. I love their, like, I love all the designs that they come in. They have really cute, really pretty designs, but they're not washi tapes. They're not paper tapes or masking tapes or plastic tapes. They're more like deco tapes. Um, so yeah, right off the bat, just gonna let you guys know that. Um, so for my color scheme, uh, I, I kept this in the packaging so you guys could see what it looks like if you are on the hunt for them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take it out. Uh, this is also from the Dollar Tree so it came in a box like this but I took it out already so um, I chose these two washi, uh, well, paper tapes that are very cute this is a very very cute design I just wish it was like washi tape but yes and then um, I chose this thin lavender colored uh, what I, uh, washi tape from the Recollections brand from Michaels as an accent color so it's gonna look like this because I noticed that on this it has um, the blue that matches this a green that I'll probably use to write in and then a very pretty lavender color so I chose that to match um, I'm gonna let you guys know let you guys see what it looks like really really cute I, I love the way it looks I just wish they were like washi tapes <laughs> um, I'll tell you guys what ink I used to use my Muji stamp with. And yeah, that's what it looks like. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and start decorating then. Okay. Uh, Alright, you guys will probably hear the noise that I really don't like. It bothers me. I don't know if it would bother you guys, but it bothers me because it's that plastic feel. It's nothing like washi tape. Yep. I mean, you guys probably hear that. Another thing about these tapes, I'm going to move this out of the way. With washi tapes, you can take it off the page if you mess up and reposition it. You would just have to do it carefully. With these, you can't do that at all. So it's a one shot only. If you like happen to misplace it, you try to take it off, it's going to tear the paper no matter how great the quality of the paper is. These are PR inserts. I, I've told you guys about these before. These are very, very wonderful quality paper. They're not like the Filofax sheets that are very thin. These are wonderful quality. Even with that said, when I messed up on this sheet here and I tried to peel it off, some of the paper peeled off. So just a warning for you guys. So you have to be very, very careful. I'm just going to go ahead and I hope I'm in frame. All right. And when I'm concentrating, I get really quiet, so I'm sorry if I'm not 
talkative. It's just with these plastic tapes, you have to be very careful. So I'm just going to flip it over, trim off the excess so I can see where I'm trimming. And there's some right here too. Okay, and then with this, I already trimmed it with my paper trimmer. So I have one pre-cut. I use my Fiskars paper trimmer that I got from Michaels. I got it on clearance like last year, probably during the holiday season. But I do have one pre-cut right here. And just gonna place it. Oh no, I stained the page. I don't know how I did that. Okay. Well, that sucks. I'm just gonna have to cover that up with something. I don't know how I stained that. <laughs> I'll just cover it up with like a sticky or a sticker. Um, flip it over, trim it. Okay, and the next day, next thing I did was use the Recollections tape. I really love the accent color of the lavender. I think it flows very nicely. Flip it over. You guys know the deal. Ah. This is difficult. Louise. Okay. Okay, next thing I did was Use my Muji stamp. I'm just gonna put this back in here. Alright, Muji stamp. The ink that I use is the Memento Dewdrop in Lulu Lavender. That's the color that I used. I'm sorry that the lighting is so terrible. <laughs> this room that I'm in um, has really terrible lighting. There's no natural lighting at all. So I do apologize for that. If things aren't as clear, I have a light here, but I know there's probably like a glare or something. But I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. I don't want my video to get too long, and I always say that, but it's true because when I film videos, I film it on my iPhone, and then usually what I do is I upload it directly from my iPhone because there's an option to upload it directly to YouTube, and that's what I've been doing with all of my videos, but then uh, recently I updated my phone to the iOS 7 software, and now, I mean before when I um, upload videos, my time limit like it didn't matter because I I have already like exceeded that I guess level of having a YouTube channel account or whatever so like I no longer had that 15 minute time limit and I never had a problem with uploading it directly from uh, my phone but ever since I updated my phone to the iOS 7 software um, when I try to upload it directly from my phone it doesn't allow me to anymore because the video it says that the video is too long even though the video is like 17 minutes, which I have uploaded a video that was like 19 minutes before, I think. But I'm trying to figure out how to upload that video, I guess, from my phone to my laptop to YouTube. Um, I am not tech savvy at all. I mean, I love my electronics, but I'm not tech savvy. So I'm going to have to figure that out for you guys. Okay. 
Okay, when you're done with your stamp, wipe it off with a baby cloth just so it doesn't stain. Okay, I'm done with stamping. Okay, let's see, where am I at? Uh, 10 minutes, not too bad. All right, so I'm done with that. Gonna have to stubber, I mean, cover that, stain up with some stickers or something. Um, quickly, I'm gonna give you guys some ideas of what you can use. Okay, I could use this very nice purple tab here. This is from Target. It's only a dollar in the dollar section. Uh, hopefully you could still find it. There's also some green and blue ones, but I don't have that set. But that would go well with this as well. Uh, I don't want to reach over you guys. Um, let's see, do I have green, blue? Okay, I could use this last one here, which is green. has a green background. This one has green and blue in it. This would match perfectly up top because it's a nice mint color. So that would match here. And let's see what else do I have. I could use the blue here, the green and blue here, the blue here, any of these. And two chime munching <laughs> uh, sticky tabs. I could use blue, green. Green. I wish I had more purple color. Um, oh, I could use this. Lavender. Perfect. This lavender here. I'll probably use that right here to cover that ugly stain up. It's driving me nuts. <laughs> see, do I have any other? Okay, I could use any of these. Mm, why don't I have more purple? I feel like I keep showing you guys the same stickies over and over and over again, but I mean, I don't own like a stationery store, so it's bound to get repetitive. Let's see. I could use this purple book uh, magnetic bookmark, which is very cute. I just recently ordered that. Um, I have a video. That's the one that I'm trying to upload that's not allowing me to upload directly from my phone. But, uh, yeah, that's all for today. Actually, I'm going to quickly put these pages into my planner and show you, show you last week's pages. Show you guys what it looks like in my planner. Okay, as you guys know, this is my Kiki K large time planner. I mean, you guys are probably, you know, pros of knowing what planner I've been using. If you guys have been, have been watching my YouTube videos. It's my Kiki K, Kiki K large time planner. This is what the pages looks like. Oops. Inside of my planner. I can't show you the whole thing because I don't have enough room. And then I'm going to flip over and show you guys last week's pages and how it turned out. I went with a purple and pink theme. So it's very busy looking because <laughs> I had a busy week. Um, that's what the first page looks like. And to show you guys the second page. That's what the second page looks like. So, overview again. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Bye.